Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back. I am back after a three and a half year hiatus from Russian Fishing 4, guys. Yes, I didn't think that I was ever going to come back. There was a lot of things that went on in the past, but from what I understand, the past is completely in the past, and we are starting anew here, guys. Now, as you notice, this is the tutorial now I do have some access to my old account but there are some issues with it for instance the email address that I had used for the old account doesn't even exist and if you go through Russian fishing just by starting the game I can't change it there's no, no option to change the email address and there's no way I can access it through Steam so I basically have this one which I can manipulate a little bit more and then I've got the old one which is a little iffy because there's no way I can get any emails or any notifications or anything so I'm kinda going back and forth about whether or not I'm going to be which one I'm going to be using more but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to stick with this one simply because it is steam and it's got a little more support of to go along with it plus it's using my my current email address yeah, the current email address I'm using is separate from my old one. So, yeah, I don't know exactly what we're going to do if we might be using both. Honestly, I might use both of these accounts so that I can show you what it looks like to do some things as a beginner and show you some things that it looks like when you're more experienced. But first, I have to get <laughs> all this stuff situated out, and I'll let you know as it goes. Now, my good friend Delacaba has started this all over again as well. Uh, he started a f uh, three or four days ago, I believe, maybe longer. And I didn't know I was going to start from the beginning, too. But I thought, well, I might as well go through the tutorial as well. He does it like a professor. Me, I'm not a professor. <laughs> I mean, I could be a professor, but honestly, I just like to play the game and just have fun so we both do things a little different but we both have fun in the ways we, we do them uh, I'm basically here to help you guys as best I can he's here to teach you I guess that's the best way to explain it I'm not sure if I'm coming across right but anyway here I am so anyway what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go through this tutorial because I really actually wanted to see this because it has changed dramatically from what it was originally. Uh, see, you used to be able to get some uh, free gear in the beginning that was very broken and worn down. So, according to what I, you know, I saw in Delacopa's video, they are basically giving you some early gear, but not this free gear, this junky gear that they gave you that you can fix. All right. It does say so. You suggest you become more familiar with the basic mechanics of the game by passing the tutorial. It will not take much time. Now, like like I said, it's been three and a half years, so this actually might be beneficial to go through this. So, use your mouse to look around. All right. Now I'm getting 68 frames per second. That's not too bad. I don't know if I can get better than that. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at the settings here, make sure everything's to the maximum that can go. I think looks like we've got our settings are all good, beautiful, distant shadows. I mean, you can probably go a little bit better. I'll see if it changes much as far as the look of things. I don't really see anything out of the ordinary. Let me see what the speed is now. I'm still getting 68, so that's about as good as it's going to get. Okay. 
Great, now it's time to fish. Approaching the edge of approach the edge of the lake. Oh right. Yeah, this lake looks very different from what they used to look like. Watch the float, wait for a bite. Okay. Oh hell, I didn't even have to cast. Seems like I have a lot of extra line. The fish is biting, wait for the float to sink or move to the side. Well, he's fiddling with it, I tell you. I don't even know what I'm fishing with, to be honest. Hurry, perform the cut. Pull the fish, don't let it get away. Okay, let's see what we got here. Crucian Carp. 382 grams. I think it's just under a pound. The only option we have is to release. Can we spin that sucker? No. You just look at him. Okay. Cast in the marked area. Hold the button to control the casting distance. That's the left mouse button. It looks like we're using worms. Red worms, I guess. Let's see here. Watch the float and wait for a bite. I really like the uh, new tutorial pond here a lot better than the old one I don't know if we can come back to it the original one you could come back to occasionally wait for the folk to sink or move to the side alright you can zoom in with the Z okay it looks like a guy's a little common roach change your bait Hold the quick bait key. So that's B. That's new. I don't remember having that. That's interesting. I like that. Let's switch over to maggots. But yeah, we didn't have that before. Now I'm going to zoom back out. Z's for zoom, by the way, guys. I do. That is something that is both the same in Fishing Planet here and uh, the Angler as well. I no, the Angler is some a different one. That's right. I'm sorry. I'm sure I'm gonna get all the questions. Okay, which game is better, Rush Fishing Four, Fishing Planet, The Angler? It, they're all good. <laughs> they're all good and they're all different. Whoop. Got that's what happens when you don't wait and you get too anxious. No, they're all good, guys. All of them are good and they're all good for different reasons. I do remember this one. You have to have. A little more patience, and it is a little bit more like the real thing in some cases. That's a decent sized common roach, man. He is well over a pound. I don't think those guys get that big. I think that would be considered like a trophy version, maybe. Okay, select a spinning rod. Hold down the rod quick select button. So U. That's new too. So B for bait and U. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to this one. Let's put that one there. We'll put this one there. That way all we have to do is switch. There we go. Okay, so now we've got... A spinning rod. It says hold the button to control the casting distance. Alright, so we need to cast out anywhere in that green area. I'm going to try that way. Spin the reel to complete the gig run. Rig run. Reels closed. If 
Fish is hooked. Pull and don't let it get away. And it is a perch. Fat little bugger too. Perform a new cast. Hold the button to control the casting casting distance. Let's try over here, just to be different. Spin the reel to complete the rig run. Ooh. Okay, we have us. Looks like it's a serious contender. Keep pulling and hold the button. Okay, we need to go. Okay, you are going to. Did he just flop out onto the. <laughs> he did. Come over here. Come over here. Come on. Come on. You know you need to. Come on. Okay, I thought I had his head up. If I can get his head up, you've got him. Yeah, this is probably a pike or a pickerel or something like that. Now, technically speaking, I could increase the drag a little bit, but I honestly don't remember how to do that. So we're going to have to just keep working at him. Okay, let's get his head up. Let's get his head up. There we go. We got it. Yep. Once you get his head up, you pretty much got him. There he is. That's a pike. A 3.5 kilogram pike. I don't. That I don't know that uh, you, I've ever caught one that early. That's a decent one. That's like a 10 pound pike. Well, close to a 10 pound. Training completed. Congratulations, you've successfully completed the tutorial. Alright, I don't know that we'll get to go back to that lake at any one time, but it'd be kind of cool to go back and mess around just to see what you can or cannot catch. I don't think you can, any, you know, I don't think any of them count. Yeah, for I understand, from watching Delacaba's video, they have really, really changed Mosquito Lake from what it used to look like when I had come here. Apparently looks nothing. Welcome, Hawkeye. Okay, so I've had to change my name for this particular game. Welcome to Russian Fishing 4. Take your time to explore the diverse water bodies and catch unforgettable fish. Discover new equipment and specialize your character while participating in exciting tournaments. Or just enjoy fishing with friends and sharing your experience with the community. Meet you at the water's edge, tight lines. Yeah, I think I am going to keep this one because since Dulacba has just started as well, we might be able to have a little bit of competition, friendly competition with each other. And the other one, I was at like level 21, and I think his is gone altogether. He, he has no access to get his old stuff, so... That would be a lot more, a lot more fun to be able to play more evenly. Of course, as much as he plays, he might get the level 21 in a few more days. <laughs> it's hard to say. Okay, it says check out the help menu and the in-game controls. Well, that's probably going to be important, guys, because honestly, it's been a long time. It's like I don't remember how to fix the drag anymore. I don't remember how to do. Um, yeah, here it is. Mouse wheel for the friction brake. Alt dumb for the friction brake. Accelerate with the tree. Left mouse button. Shift. Some of them are controls. So every, every one of them are different. Float depth. 
okay, the number plus and the number minus. I was hitting plus and minus for that, but it was the wrong plus and minus. Power cast, left mouse shift, hook set control, right mouse button. Okay, that's new. Use and hide landing net, space. All right, snag release, right mouse button, X to cut the line. The B is the bait and quick item selection is U. Inventory keep net skills, crafting, M for the map. Now it used to be when you got the map you had to go to that administrative building. But it looks like we already have the map here. This is Mosquito Lake. And yeah, it has changed a lot. It has really changed. Now the little campground's still there, but none of this was here. None of this was here. Still have that deep spot here, and you still have the deep spot there. But can I put this away when I'm carrying it, or do I have to carry it in my hands? Uh, apparently. Apparently we walk with it in our hands. I thought <laughs> that's kind of weird. But we're going to take a look around here just to make sure we have everything. We see there's a cafe. So you come in here, if I remember correctly, and they are basically ordering different things. And once you have them in your inventory, you can come here and give it to them. And they'll, they'll give you the worth of whatever it is you caught. Like a frog. They want one frog for a dollar, you know, 1.47 gold coins. Gibble carp, 5.22 for three. Christian carp, 9.86 for five. And so on and so forth. Alright. Just to make sure, is there a way to put this away? Let me see. RKS except. Put into the backpack, maybe? Back, backspace? Ah, it's backspace, guys. That's how it's done. So instead of walking around with your rod in front of you looking like a doofus, you can do that. And this is where you can purchase more silver coins. So you can buy stuff, or you can just catch fish and buy stuff. That's usually the best way to do it. I mean, you this is cute as heck. New Year's Fair. I guess what it is, is they have made this available year-round so that you can access some of the gear and stuff that's for special events like New Year's. At this store, you can buy everything you need for fishing, prices and product assortment, very on different water bodies. So they'll probably have this in different water bodies as well as we move along. Some of these are extremely expensive though. Now, one thing I might need to be able to change here. Let's see, is it escape? Yeah. Now, this is all our in information here. We don't shouldn't have anything much. Shouldn't nothing. Shouldn't be anything in the keep net. That's for sure. But they gave us quite a bit of stuff. They gave us a free Mosquito Lake map. Looks like we got a landing net. Yeah, I remember I used to have to purchase that if I'm not mistaken. We got some food that basically works with our stamina. Some sinkers, a decent bobber. Quite a few pieces of bait, especially worms. Some worms you can dig up if you really need to. We've got some pretty decent lures to start off with. Dragonfly lures, those are always good. We got some small hooks. Might need to go purchase some big ones as soon as we can because those are pretty tiny. I would say at least up to a 10 and a 6. These get that much. We've got this telestick. 
Looks like it's. It doesn't really tell us much. Except. Okay, we have seven pound test fishing line, so. There's not much in here that you can't catch, honestly. But it looks like you now have the ability to add sandwiching with your bait. That's something they didn't have before. I don't think they had leaders either. So they're coming a while. They're coming a ways. They've come quite a ways. But yeah, this doesn't look anything like it used to. There used to be a little cafe down here. And that's where you got the missions and stuff. I mean, I think technically this is still the kind of the cafe, but... No, this is the boat station. So this is where you get your licenses for the boat and rent them for so many days. So the cafe is there now. What's this? The fish market? So this is where you sell your fish that you have in your keep net. What's this over here? It's... Well, it looks like they show you what species are found here in this lake. As you can see, there's quite a few. I'd say the biggest would be the pike and the brim, or bream, and the crucian carp, regular carp, and the gibble carp. Those are all the big fellas. And I think there's silver brim, 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 brim. Ring, ring, sounds like a telephone. Yeah, you can't, you can fish off of these, but you can't take them. Yeah, I don't think the boat appears until you actually rent it. And my understanding is you can eventually purchase a boat, but it costs a lot. Category B boat, get in the boat. Buy a ticket, okay, well... Yeah, it looks like a, ch you know, ch chugging boat there. Wow, they really have changed this. This looks nothing like it used to, really, honest to God. There's some subtleties, but there was never this big stream here or this, this uh, bridge. The bridge was not here at all. I bet you could fish down there, too. Let me see if, what we got up here. What's in here? What's this place? Is this anything? They're growing maters! Okay. <laughs> okay, house. Oh wow, I can go inside. Well, this is nice. You can start a fire. Very nice. This is very nice. Very nice little place. You can sit down, read a book. <laughs> God. That's actually kind of cute. That's actually kind of cute. What's this? Oh. <laughs> hey, just threw this in here for for to be cute. I like it though. I like it. It adds a little bit of ambiance to the whole thing. All right, Smoky Bear says, "Only you can prevent uh, cabin fires, I guess." What is this? Place for an item. Place for an item. Oh, so this is like your trophy room. Okay, <laughs> I thought they just had a house here. Well, can you put tro? I wonder if they have they gotten to the point where you can put trophies up or oh I bet you anything you can store your rods here yes so this is your house and this is where you can store things place for an item let's see here awards and no matching items found so anytime you get awards I guess for competition you put it in here that is pretty cool I like it I like it. That's a neat addition. Neat addition. Let's see what's back here. Anything? A goat? 
Okay, that sounds like a really mean pig. Okay, looks like we got fishing gear here, but we can't do anything with it. And we got a little place to picnic, and we got some crops here that we can walk on. <laughs> okay, so this is the administration building here. So you can get... We already have that. It said something about... Get spare... Get spare spinning tackle? Succeeded. Okay. So I got some free tackle. What did I get? What I get? What I get? What I get? Oh, cool! I got this old spinner lure. That is nice. I did get the old spinning rod. Dula said you couldn't get this anymore. Fishing line. Did I get the reel too? Maybe he didn't know. I mean, it's possible. I'll be damned. I think I got this too. Yeah, I, b I believe I did. Yeah, these are not... This is a separate thing altogether. I don't think he knew this. Or maybe he knows about now. He didn't with the t last I talked to him. So you can still get that free stuff you used to get in the tutorial. That is awesome. Did not even know that. Do not touch, you might electrocute yourself. Okay, so... Alright, we really do have to check this stuff out. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Let's see, is this another house? Taxidermist. Yes, yes, yes. So we can get trophies. You can taxidermy any fish that you want. So you probably have to pay for it, I would imagine. Oh, or you can make it. You must select the required material. Fish. Huh. That is neat, too. I didn't know you could do that now, too. They have added all kinds of cool things here, guys. It's the workshop for fixing your gear. And it does break from on occasion, apparently. Okay, we've already been there. Alright, let's see. Where are we on the map here? We are over here. Well, I guess that's... You just kind of stop. You can't go any further. Let's see. We got the tractor here. We can't do anything with it. Sand. Don't know what you can do with that. Sounds like a bunch of bees. Well, I tell you, there's a lot of new stuff there. I do, I do like it. But the shoreline really has completely changed. It really doesn't look a damn thing like it used to, honestly. It sort of does. That's where we used to fish for the Crucian Carp all the time. So it sort of does, but it used to be you had to... Yeah, this is all new. What is this? Little cabins? That wasn't there at all. Yeah, there was just a little dirt path that used to walk... This wasn't here at all. But you just walked along here and the bridge wasn't there at all. So... Hmm. Can't do anything with any of that stuff. Well, I tell you. It's very, very interesting. Everything, like I said, has changed dramatically. 
Now this lake is not that big. You can walk around it pretty quickly. Completely circumnavigate it. I see we can still go around this way, yeah. And this little area here that was not there at all. Yeah, this this whole thing was not here. Yeah, I may have to go back and look at my old maps just to show you how much it's changed. But if I remember correctly, it was pretty much... He went like up to here and that was the end of it. There was nothing beyond that. Wow. Incredible, incredible amount of change here. This is an all new leg. It really is. Completely new. Okay, here's the campground. Forest camp. Now the car is still there. But this looks nothing like it used to. We have a fish dryer there. Now they had just started introducing those. So, dry terrain, huh? Oh, so you can go in the tent. Not sure what you can do in here. Maybe you can sleep. I don't know. Capacity. Maybe you can store stuff. Yeah, you can store things. And there you can cook things that you can eat. Still can't do anything with the vehicles. So that has not changed. Now, there used to be... Those little pylons are not there before. There used to be a boat sitting right here, and that's gone. And we're back to the main village. Yep, everything has changed. Can't use the lamp. There's more than one dock now. Yeah, this is an all-new lake, guys, without a doubt. This looks nothing, really. <laughs> I mean, it sort of looks like it, but not so much anymore. But, I do like the way it looks. It does look really good. Well, let me go ahead here. The slot is empty. Since when? Alright, let's go ahead and go you. Ah. For some reason, it moved everything to the... Outside of the location. We'll go ahead and put the Corona there. And we got this old spinning rod, too. So, let's go to three. Let's see, the old spinning rod. Let's put the old reel in there. It's a vintage rod. Got old fishing line, 2.2 kilogram test. Does not have a leader. We got this old spinner lure. There you go. So now we have three. And I didn't have to spend a dime. How do you like that? Well, let's see if we can get something with this old rod. Oh, it sounds old, too. <laughs> Looky there. Oh! Damn, little bugger cut off of it. But he did go for it. Ah, 
you know, I'm trying to remember how we change the speed on this thing. Okay, there's the friction brake. And that's the middle mouse button. Speed. Hold on, let's go to F1 again. We can only accelerate at retrieval speed. R and mouse wheel. Okay, so it's R. There you go. Well, let's try 15 here. Looks like the perch are biting. Even off this old gear. There we go. Got us a little perch here, and this one we'll get to keep. Wow, it's a nice one. 122 XP points, plus 61 L taco bonus. Not sure what that means. This bonus award for fishing with light gear. Okay. Increases the number of experience points for the fish you catch. Well, that's nice. XP. Total number of experience points received for the caught fish, taking into account all bonuses. Number of experience points caught for the caught fish. And now the school has been upgraded to 0.2% for spin fishing. We are going to keep this little fella. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get one more here, guys, before we end this first look here. Yeah, apparently this particular rod, though, needs a little bit of work done on it. But we need to get a little bit of money to make it happen. Why don't we switch over to one of our other rods? No, let's switch to... Yeah, let's take our... 16, it seems to be about an average. Let's see what we do with this one. It's taking a while to touch bottom. Okay. Like I said, it has been a minute since I have played this, so... What have I got on here? Let's see here. Let's try this one. Personal record longest cast. There we go, we're touching bottom. There we go. Damn. Okay, we got us a a big fish. Rig cut off by fish teeth. Sure as hell did, didn't he? And he took my lure. A little bugger. Yep, he took off. He took my good fishing lure. Well, that sucks. Well, we need a leader. That's why he was able to bite through it. 
And right there, we've got some pike. So I guess we would have to go up here and let me go ahead and put that back. I don't think we have any cash on hand though. We can sell the one we ha one or two that we have. Yeah. Well, we got a little bit of money. We got a little bit of money. Let's see. That's the. Is this the tackle shop? No, that's the ATM. I think the tackle shop's over here. Hardware store. We don't need that. There we go. Tackle store. Oh, so we got kits now. That is cool too, guys. Check this out. Feeder fishing start. Casting rod fishing. Spinning universal pro. Float fishing start. And it gives you all these pieces with it. Siberia model 2. Very nice. I like that. And it's one price. Then they have packaging of lures as well. Or you could, you know, you can always get them individually, but I like the fact that they've got these where you can buy them as kits. Hmm. Well, what we need here, guys, we need to check out lures. And I did lose that dragonfly lure. That really kind of bothers me that that little get little pike took that right away from me. I think that was. I think that's not it. Ah, that was it. I forgot that they have the different colors. It was this one right here. We'll go ahead and repurchase that. Put that back. And let's see if we can't get us... Well, we got bite alarms. We got lures. We got baits. Lines. Braided line. Reels. Rods. Ground bait. There we go. Leaders. Classic leader, feeder leaders, hinge leaders, lead cores, leader materials, and accessories. Well, we need a steel leader. Nylon is not going to work. And we don't need a heavy one. So, this express steel leader probably be good enough. And then what we do is we come back into our Corona. And we pop that sucker on there. I'm going to put that one back because that was what I had. And guess what, my friends? Guess what? We're going to show that daggone pike who's boss. It's getting later tonight. Alright, hold on. Look at all this fog. Jeez. Well, this is something I would like to do here real quick. Let's try float fishing right here. Got a wham. Okay. I think it's lying on its side, but I think it's all right. We'll see if anything goes for it. Wait a minute. I didn't, yeah, that's new too, the little window in the window there, so you can see the bobber. Yeah, it's a little bit shallow there. 
even so, something might still go for it. <laughs> 